Hi everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we will learn how to use Power BI with AI. For that, let's consider a small problem statement or in other words, a simple use case. So here it goes. A business chain's data analyst used Power BI to generate sales performance dashboards across multiple stores. Due to manual data cleaning, report structuring, and repetitive DAX calculations, the process takes several days, delaying the important decision making. And let's struggle with errors and inconsistencies due to high data complexity. By integrating Power BI's AI features like Smart Narrative and AI Insights, they automate trend identification and anomaly detection. Now, analysts quickly generate visualizations by simply typing questions, reducing manual effort. AI-assisted data modeling ensures cleaner data sets and accurate relationships, enhancing efficiency. As a result, report generation time drops by 50%. Dashboards are more insightful and stakeholders receive actionable insights faster. That's it. If these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master data science and data analytics skills and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's code of various data science and data analytics programs. Simply Learn offers various certifications and postgraduate programs in collaboration with some of the world's leading universities like Caltech, Purdue, IIT, Kanpur and many more. Through our courses, you will gain knowledge and work-ready expertise in skills like advanced Excel, Python, machine learning, data visualization, generative AI, and over a dozen others. That's not all. You also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working in top-tier data and product companies, and also academicians from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a data science or data analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job and profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find a data science and data analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now, without further delay, let's get started. Now, as discussed in the use case, let's imagine a similar performance analysis dashboard. Now, what exactly is AI in Power BI? So AI and business intelligence are two technological spheres that when combined offer a powerful tool set of transforming raw data into actionable insights and making data accessible to everyone. Similarly, AI features in Power BI can analyze user behavior to customize reports and dashboards to meet individual data needs using the raw data. Now, let's imagine this. Suppose there is a significant growth in business and you wanted to identify the reason behind it and replicate the same idea across all categories or maybe reward the team which is responsible for that. Or let's say there is a significant drop in business and you wanted to understand the reasons behind it and pinpoint on the one which is responsible so that you can resolve and improve the overall business growth and pull out some revenue out of it, right? Now, if you are doing it manually using Excel datasets or even if you're doing it with Power BI datasets, you might end up creating a lot of Power Query stacks expressions and also if you're working on Excel, then you end up creating a lot of pivot tables and it, it might be a manual task and will consume a lot of time, right? Or in case if you're in help with AI, then the matter of days could turn into the matter of minutes and you will have the exact data or information you're looking at and you can resolve it in a matter of minutes or hours maybe after a business decision has been made. Now, let's go through a practical demonstration on Power BI for this. So before that, let's have a quick look on the data set that we will be using today. So this particular one, which is the auto sales data for 2024 is the one we will be using today. So we have all the columns, order ID, order date, and uh, delivery date, state, dealership, pin code, region, and uh, the names of the products, and the fuel type, leads, revenue, profit, and cost to company, everything, right? So this is the cleaned data that we have today for our data analysis. Now we will be identifying the key areas that led to the quarter on quarter growth or if you drill down a little bit more, then we can also identify the month on month growth or in case if there is a drop in month on month or drop in quarter on quarter, we can also identify what is the reason behind it, where is the loss coming from, which car product 
or which dealership or what might be the reason is it about the season or the customer or the dealership you, we can drill down a lot of information from it right so this is the overall idea of how to utilize ai in power bi now let's quickly switch to power bi now we are on microsoft power bi and we have already loaded the data which is here this is the preview of the data that we are going to work on now let's go back to the report view and pull out a visualization now i'll be trying to proceed with the bar graph now let's pull some data so i'll go with the audit date and drag and drop it to the x-axis now let's go with the orders and that will be in our y-axis here you go now if you drill down a little bit this year will be turned into quarters of the year now if you kind of drill down again now you have month on month now let's try to do some modifications to this data set all the data visualization and add some improvements go to the view tab here go to the customized current theme and go to text and now here you can increase the font size maybe 18 to have a better visual and after that if you go to the format icon here you can also add data labels if you want what is the total number of sales that we made now we have a perfectly functional chart here let's eliminate this now let's begin with the ai for identifying the drop trends or the growth trends now here you can see uh, the month of august in 2024 has gave us the highest sales which is 2618 orders and you can see there is a quite a good uh, growth here now if you wanted to find out what is the reason behind this growth and then just click that bar and right click or double click and go to the option called analyze so this is similar to the excel's what if analysis but with a little change now here you can see that um, power bi will automatically give you a lot of charts and visualizations like this one here which is a water war model and this will indicate you what was the reason of the growth and here you can see uh, we have received 11 orders from andhra pradesh this is a state-wise analysis and also you have decrease so there is a decrease in mizoram and a few more regions like karnataka and everything so this is uh, something behind the reason for growth or drop and here you can see the product wise uh, analysis where we have some growth from um, cars like 8 series wellfire and others and after that you have some dealership data as well so there is a good orders that is received by prime auto elite auto and a few others and there's a drop in uh, asian dealerships etc and here you have uh, the state is on delivery so uh, this is also good and now let's say now you wanted to identify what's the reason for drop now what you can do is you can just click on the uh, month which showed you the maximum loss or the least orders received and you can go to that so the least orders is practically from march and here you can see there is a sudden drop from august let's say you wanted to compare with these two months and then what you can do is you can just uh, same procedure you can just analyze and now explain the decrease now you have the reasons behind the decrease here so we have a couple of cars which are not receiving good amount of sales and after that you can also see state-wise a drop in orders and after that you can also see uh, the type of car which has stopped receiving orders you can see sedan class has drastically stopped receiving orders that's the reason behind it and after that uh, most of the orders are in transit so you can filter out uh, the in transit ones because this will be delivered to the customer so the overall uh, you know sales will be uh, or the overall orders number will be increased once this transit becomes to deliver right and here you have uh, delivered as well right so it might be a drop in delivery numbers as well and uh, compared to the previous month the, num the number of orders delivered will be low or if you had to talk about the in transit i think this is about the in transit one as well so previous month had a lot of cars in transit and this month compared to that number it is a bit low so this that's that can be the reason and after you drill down a little bit more you have region wise analysis now this is also another way to find out the drop analysis and let's say you wanted to compare two different months of a quarter right so here you have quarter one the highest performing month of quarter one happens to be the february one no the january one and you wanted to compare 
that with the highest performing month of quarter three which is august in that case you can just hold control and select the first month from first quarter which is the highest performing one and you can compare month on month i'm going to the analyze button explain the reason between the increase here now you have the entire report now let's say you have a brilliant looking chart over here and you wanted to present that to your stakeholders now all you can do is you can just select this particular chart and select the option which says plus which will automatically get added to your dashboard which is somewhere here and you can set it in the way you want now you almost have a semi-functional or mini dashboard for you which explains you the decrease or the gain in orders and also the month-on-month -month performance so you have a fully functional report in front of you which is explaining the comparison between the highest two performing ones so this is how you can make use of ai in power bi for data analytics and and if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you require the resources like the powerpoint presentation data set or the workbook that we created then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to assist you as soon as possible until next time thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from simply Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.